Welcome to day 45 of the 100 Days of Me Challenge. All right, <coughs> so today for the self-expression part of this video, I want to share with you about uh, experts versus newbies, right? Um, or people that are serious, pro versus newbies, right? A novice. Uh, people who are serious about their craft and you don't really have to be a pro just yet, right? Even just people who are serious about their craft versus the, 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 like the people who are just kind of um, uh, casually approaching their craft. So in playing tennis with Tyler, you know, he's uh, like he, 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 he's picky about the racket that he's using. He's picky about the size of it. Uh, getting it restringed, um, you know, uh, yeah, having the, 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 the good balls. And here I am, you know, just using an old, you know, racket that I got for free. <laughs> um, and I, who knows when's the last time that racket been restringed, if ever, because it's, it's just a cheap racket. Um, I don't care about the balls. And so that got me thinking about, you know, in, in our life, in our business, like whatever career that we're in, if we don't, if we're not picky, uh, like, like the way pros are in that, in that career, you know, we're not get, we're never going to be pros. We're just going to be like wannabes, newbies, just casually doing it. It's fine if you're just doing, you know, if, if that's, if that's just something you want to do casually, I, I don't have any intention to be a tennis expert. I I'm, I really just play to uh, to spend time with Tyler and uh, my son, um, and you know, and and help him practice uh, you know his game. And and so for me, yes, you know, tennis is something that I totally would be willing to be casual about and not be picky. But when it comes to something that that you know that we want to be uh, pro at whether it's real estate investing whether it's you know um, internet marketing or, or, or whatever it is whatever you want to be pro about you want to be you know you want to be uh, picky you want to you know you want to select your right tools you want to you know make sure you like you know if you I don't play golf but you were to play a pro you know like a, a golf right like Every little you know, millimeter makes a difference in your swing. Um, and so, so be intentional about those little things. Be intentional about, you know, the... the um, so like one of the things that have me... Um, one of the things that I'm pretty good at when it comes to real estate investing is uh, like who I target for, for, for my leads. Like the type of homeowners that I target... Uh, the type of properties that I target, uh, I'm very picky with those things, and those little things makes a huge difference. You know, someone, uh, yeah, like you can pull a a ten thousand people list and just get a deal out of that, um, and I can pull a thousand people list and get a few deals out of that, right? Like that little, you know, the the being picky about what you know what list you choose and what type of uh, you know what type of properties what type of customers you're choosing makes a huge difference in that same thing in my negotiations i'm very picky about like the little words that i use and um you know in 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 word choices that i use when i'm negotiating with the what what you know whether the property owner right or homeowner um like the um you know even just the little things of how they say things um i try to you know i try to to uh, say it, you know, the way that they would say it, in the tone that they would say it in, in the speed that they would say it in, things like that, little things like that. I was talking to a friend of mine yesterday. He he used to own uh, car dealerships, and he said that he would practice for hours in the back of the dealership uh, on how to show a car. I was like, wow, I've never thought about having to practice on how to show someone a car, <laughs> right? Um, I mean, that's, that's about being serious, about being picky with every little details, every little things, uh, about how you present yourself and, you know, in, in, in business. So that's my, uh, that's my share for you today. 
you know, it's, uh, it's get picky. Get, when it comes to your craft that you want to master, get super picky with it um, and be intentional about how picky you are with that, right? So with that, um, all right, if you haven't started yours yet, today's my day 45. Wow, amazing. Uh, I still have, what, 55 more days to go? I'm, I'm almost halfway there. Amazing. Um, today's my 40, day 45. It could be day one for you if you haven't started yours yet. It's a, it's a new year. It's a great time to start it. Basically, 100 days of meditation, exercise, and self-expression. Self-expression is basically any uh, anything that lifts you up, inspires you. Uh, for me, it's doing these kind of videos, just sharing you know um, an insight, a tip, a trick. Um, and um, yeah, for you, it could be you know singing, dancing, you know uh, whatever it is that lifts you up. Okay, um, and then uh, for exercise, I've been doing. 100 push-ups a day. I mean, I'm sorry, 200 push-ups a day. Not on one set yet. Uh, I currently have a mental block at 70. So I've been at like the 70 something for for the last couple of weeks. So I, um, yeah, my next goal is to uh, get to, to 80. So, um, <coughs> all right, let's, uh, let's do our push-up. Buddy's wanting to go. <laughs> He's excited. Eighty. Eighty. Oh man, I pushed myself for that eighty. Yay! Eighty it is. All right. Thanks for watching. Love you. See you tomorrow.